I hope everybody brought disc two with them. Oh, thank you. Oh. So this is the uh, sequel? <laughs> yes, welcome to Metal Gear Solid 2. So the first war uh, disc was largely um, Ice World, and now we're in Bowser's Castle. I'll remind you that uh, before we went down the staircase, uh, it was the coldest area in the game, so cold that our rations would freeze if we stood still. But we've walked so many layers or steps downstairs that we've gone to this too, where it's near lava. One flight of stairs, and we're at lava. It's one discord of stairs, so. I'm not. I'm not sure. I like this new Minecraft mod. So is that molten, or is that like sulfur, and you need chocolate or something? <laughs> that is molten metal. Oh. Even if you had chocolate in your rations, it would just it would just caramelize if you dropped it in there. So what you're telling me is these metal gears are no longer solid. <laughs> no. Uh <laughs> so the puzzle here we need to get down to that lava and light our cigarette. It's actually very subtle, but Snake's been holding an unlit cigarette in his mouth this whole game because it's not allowed to smoke on Shadow Moses Island. You've seen the no smoking signs everywhere. This is the first chance to get a light. Wait, were those rations still frozen? Yes. <laughs> uh, see those rats? They're, they're crawling on this really thin outcropping that's being swept next to by a crane. And we're gonna have to cross it. So to calm my nerves, I'll take a little die as a Pam, and just slowly shimmy our way over open lava. <laughs> now, here's where it gets me because in every Metal Gear Solid game after this, you're allowed to keep moving while you're pressed up against a wall and crouched. But if you try it in in this game, you just pop off the wall and die. Oh. So hold completely still and make sure that thing has passed you before you stand up again. At least the mice are moving behind you instead of knocking you off. <laughs> you gotta kill the mice first. <laughs> They're gonna get my game cartridge. I mean, what happens when you set off an alert if you kill that first guard? Are they gonna start shimmying over too? <laughs> no. Um, this area is actually the final sneaking section in the game which is really weird because we just started disc two this is like the last normal area where guards are moving around and we sneak through it and if you get an alert here they really can't do much about it because there's one guard on one side of that and there's one guard on the other and they can't really shoot you or shimmy or anything else they don't even spawn on the other side huh so this area is oh, my rations are still frozen, so, uh, you just equip them for one hot second, and they'll thaw out. I'm not sure if that's because it's actually hot here, and that affects the thawing time, or if it was just ready to thaw already. I said that it's a really easy sneaking section, because there's only the two guards, but I still managed to get myself trapped in here by this guy. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got a light. A little hot under the collar. I take it he's not getting up. <laughs> Return to my position. Okay. Uh, like, Snake even gets hot in this area, so I'm not sure about how these guards walking around in, like, full latex suits are handling. It's gotta be, like, a puddle of sweat. But mobile. There's a ration sitting here on another outcropping. And you can't get it. If you try and walk out there, you just pop into the lava and die. 
Ah, oh, the boomerang. <laughs> You're right. We don't have to come back here. Because it literally is just a video game level, now we've got, like, steam bursting out of the holes. No, it's hot steam. No, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's mildly hot to the touch. Not as hot as Snake is. But it, it's unpleasantly warm. Maybe pleasantly warm, maybe it'll be like an exfoliation. But it will put out my cigarettes, so I'm not gonna- Ow! Oh, Snake, it looks like steam, but it's actually really cold. Don't touch it. I thought you were gonna have to break those pipes somehow. <laughs> if you if you use your weapon in an area, yeah, it turns into just one giant steam ball. Snake gets boiled alive. At this point, the camera, the gun cameras on the walls start to get a lot more flexible, and you're not allowed to hide like right underneath them anymore. So, uh, we're gonna start making use of chaff grenades. But it turns out there's actually no reason to ever go down that area, unless you have not yet picked up the body armor. Because that's where the body armor is kept if you didn't pick it up, uh, back in the, uh, gas chamber room. What we're looking for is this door with big sirens on it. Whatever this area is, it can't be very important. <laughs> this hidden underground base with the flashing siren lights. With no guards. Hey, I had one guard, but he's, uh... Stepped away for a hot second. <laughs> so the reason we're going down here is because it's the path to the Metal Gear's, Metal Gear's underground base. This entire base, though, it was... It was pre-established, right? Like, this was not built to house any of the guards or secret areas or anything, right? Officially on the books, uh, it was meant to be a nuclear weapons disposal facility, but... Uh, Arms Tech was secretly constructing Metal Gear here, possibly from the very beginning? So none of these things were moved here, though, right? No, this was- this was all part of the base, proper. It's just a secret. Oh no! I accidentally dropped my one <laughs> stun grenade. Just to see how deep this, uh, this pit would go. You could tell it was built by Armstech because that's the Armstech logo. Oh, the stable any Metal Gears down there? <laughs> it's not that deep! Good, we've established that this elevator is not using wireless technology, so if I lose signal down here, it'll still move. There he is! Damn. Didn't we just fight this boss? It's not quite Ultra Box, look out! <laughs> okay. Four invisible guys in an elevator. Can't take him out, but what about three guys that are visible on an elevator? I'm gonna have to put together everything I've learned. <laughs> All of the items I've collected to take out three guys. Uh, these are the, uh, the, uh, armored soldier. Oh, look, it's the effective explosions, how that's done one frame of this happens. Um, so they do take a lot more damage than a regular soldier. Like, one explosion will not kill them. But two will. And you can see them. <laughs> yes. Um, well, I guess the invisible guys in the elevator weren't really hard to see anyway, even without thermal goggles, so... Having a bigger elevator actually makes this a harder fight because it's harder to catch more guys in one explosion. <laughs> and, uh... It gives... It gives them a chance to shoot you when they're further away from you. You can't throw one of your shoulder and domino effect all of them at once. Oh, his Achilles heel! Can't you just flip him off the elevator or something? 
Like, these are railed, right? This is a rail elevator, no, not a... If I don't use all of my weapons, then it would have been in vain. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna have to take a rest and re relax after, after a fight like that. You gotta do that when you have zero lives and... Get negative one lives. <laughs> right before the cutscene. I see you are indeed jammed, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, the reason that uh, our signal's being jammed here is so they can pull cheap-ass tricks like a gun camera up here. I had like six rations before I went down that elevator. <laughs> Because, um, I think it's because we are so powerful now with all of these weapons that having guards around, like, the two or three guards that they can reasonably fit into an area in this game, uh... Wouldn't make a difference? They're not much of a threat anymore, so they need to do stuff like this, where the, the codec is being jammed and there are gun cameras hidden, so that you have to pay attention to your surroundings still, because if you get caught, it's not as easy to just, like, shoot them and move on as they are with actual guards. Oh wait. <laughs> it's another it's another <laughs> ration. And it's not just uh jamming our radar and sticking a gun camera. Uh that they have buried mines into the metal. <laughs> no. I think you forgot that uh these claymore mines are equipped with stealth technology, so we can see them oh, okay. with the thermal goggles. They have stealth camo, just like uh, the ninja and uh, Ultra Box did. If we war this through the entire uh, game, could you see Otacon moving around every now and then? Thermal goggles? Yeah. No, you would not have seen the invisible men in the elevator. Oh. So from now on, any time I see a sus viciously placed item sitting in the corner. It's a good idea to check it for a trap first. They're really starting to design the game more like the MSX. I considered splicing back in another elevator fight right here, but I didn't do it. I'm not going to waste your time with that. Because there's going to be a fr- is that- are those bats? <laughs> no. They are not bats, those are northern ravens. Oh. You can see Snake's Breath in this area, so you can see we've already gone through uh, the Lava World and we're going back to Ice World again. Hope you enjoyed it, that little change of scenery. If I had chosen any other weapon, this would have been easy. No! Who's that rapping on my codec call? Snake. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, 
or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. What? Could she just be lying to make herself seem more interesting? Like, Snake badgered her to talk about her family. <laughs> she just came up with something. Uh, my, my dad was big boss. Uh-oh. <laughs> I threw off my uh, internal balance so much with that lava room that I need to go into a sub-zero room that's so cold it frosts up my screen. Just to balance out. And I claim more mine. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's another area that's cold as the snowfield. Uh, our rations can freeze here. I can't tell if that's my breath or my cigarette smoke. But the birds are fine here, I guess. Yeah, birds. Commonly known to live in the cold area. They love they love uh, having warm blood. Getting north for the winter. Let me feed the birds sometimes, Snake. Somebody has to be a good person for letting me feed these birds. You know what? I'm gonna let them live. Close the door, you're letting all the cold in! <laughs> Stop, you let all the birds out! <laughs> Next time, uh, we'll fight uh, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Not Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> uh, Nevermore.